1990, I just wasn't feeling well, had a lot of health issues, had been to the doctor quite a number of times, um, and they couldn't tell us what was wrong. Um, finally, a phone call came from the doctor saying that I needed to meet with a specialist early in the morning, that there was some abnormalities with my blood work. And they ran tests and it came back that I had acute renal failure. So I had um, surgery that night, uh, two surgeries. I had a port put in my chest and then a fistula created to start dialysis the next day. And I started dialysis and as soon as um, transplant was mentioned, my family was totally on board. Uh, she was only 16, so it was very difficult for her to get a hold of all this. What does all this stuff mean, you know? After being told for a whole year that you're a perfectly healthy, normal teenager, it was quite a shock to find out she couldn't go on like that. Dad can't give to you, so they're going to start working on me to see that if I can give. So that's what we did, and uh, fortunately, I was able to. <laughs> And as I said, it was done in Saskatoon, so it was quite a bit of traveling back then. Now they do everything, the doctor comes to Regina. So yeah, it was good. Everything's been good. <laughs> <laughs> Once I became a mom, I, I could understand it more, that you want to do anything for your child to make them feel better, and so whatever that entails. But. I'm not sure in the moments I realized exactly what a gift it was and how much she had gone through also. Uh, I think as a teenager you are a little bit <laughs> focused on yourself and not thinking about uh, the other person as much. Um, so it wasn't until later years that I realized what a sacrifice she had made um, and how fortunate we were that it was such a good match and I did so amazing, amazingly well with the kidney. and and um, really it was, a, it was a smooth road for us um, in terms of there wasn't a whole lot of hills and valleys after that. I just kind of got the kidney and, and life resumed as normal. Organ donation saves lives and, and, it, and it is really the only way that people can go back to living a, a normal life and, and having their dreams come true. Stuck on a dialysis machine three or four times a week doesn't enable you to to do that. So if you are able-bodied and you're able to live and living with one kidney, as my mom is a, <laughs> can say, and I mean, of course, me too. I've lived with one kidney <laughs> for over 30 years. And so your body, there's organ donation is there because your body doesn't necessarily miss that other organ. And it takes some time for sure to kind of work things out, but it's not something that you're body's gonna necessarily miss and if you're healthy enough then why not share? <laughs>